Hello and welcome to this Ham Editor tutorial by Monster Projects. Today we're going to be looking at creating doors and windows with breakable glass. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is to see how big a standard door would be in the game because this is comparing size to the door to make sure that we make a door the right way. So first of all, go to your entity tool and search prop underscore door and it doesn't matter if it's rotating or what. Yeah, I can you can actually just spawn a normal prop, but I'm just going to do a door for you to understand. Okay, so just search for a door model in the filter, and this is just a standard door that you'd come across in game. So we're just going to line this up with the floor. Oops. Okay, so that's how big a standard door would be in the game. Now to create our own door. Okay, so first of all, we're going to. I'm going to make this one out of wood. Which is what I wanted to make it out of, really. Uh, you can make yours out of anything. It doesn't matter what you make a door out of. Uh, let's use this wood. So let's just again use this door for size comparison. And let's make a block of wood the size of the door. Now that's a pretty plain ugly door. I'm actually going to make it slightly bigger so those doors I always find a little the height's fine, it just wants to be a little wider I think okay so that's our door, uh, I'm going to make it a little so I'm make it a little thicker as well let's have a look how big that is make it a bit thicker to make it more door like okay so uh, next we need to make it so it can have a window in it. So first we need to search for whoops, no draw. Okay, get you the no draw one, the tool slash tools no draw. And in the door you're just gonna make a block where you want or whatever shape you want your window to be. Uh, so let's say we wanted this sort of shape window. Just try to line it up with the middle, there's the middle block. So we're going to put it there. Okay, so next you want to go tools, carve while this is selected. And if we delete that lock, it's made a hole in it. So we just do control Z and get that back. Next, before we need, you need to search for a glass texture. So again, you can just type glass in the filter and find a glass texture that you'd like to use. And then use your uh, face edit sheet tool and just right click on the, t on the front and back of the glass simple really. Uh, you can add as much detail to this door as you like. Let's just add a door handle as well. These aren't things you have to do. You can make your door as, oops, you can make your door as simple or as complex as you like. I'm just doing a fairly simple one just for this, this tutorial. This cylinder. need to let it go too well. Normally you start off making them big. If you make them big then shrink them down then they usually like to last. Turn it around back and doing control M. And obviously yes, that is much, much too big for the door. Okay, now it's looking a bit more like a handle, and you can just stick it at say in there. Obviously yours will be a bit more perfect than this. This is what we're just doing for the tutorial. Okay, so next, now we want to make the door like this. We want to do two entity in the top, and we want to do func underscore door underscore rotating. Click apply. Uh, you can change the set uh, the settings here. So toggle. We don't want touch open. So we want use open. So we want it to be silent. We don't need to change any of the other ones really. And here you can just we'll just call this door. 
uh, you don't really need to change anything else on here. Okay, so next we need to change where it, the axis where it's going to swing around. So you just get this little ball thingy here, which you'll see on all the different views, and you just want to drag it to uh, the edge of the door there. Next, you want to create put it in the wall. So we want to create a hole. Whoops, actually no, we don't want to move it yet. Uh, we want to make this an entity. So, so this one we want it to be funk underscore break. Oops. Be funk underscore breakable, so we're going to take door underscore glass. You can change the other settings of it, such as prop data, prop strength. You know, you don't really need to do change this to glass small strength, put 20 material type glass. Uh, and you know, you don't really need to mess with any of the settings apart from parent. You want to parent it to the door. Like that. Okay, so now, move both of them, select them both and move them into the wall. Next, we just want to carve the wall around it using the carve tool. So, this is just uh, extremely simple. We don't want it to just press this twice to make both halves white. Well, you can press this to change the different halves, but you should know that. And just hit enter to prop it up. And just keep doing it around the door, just click and drag delete it from in front of the door and there's the door okay, we'll go and look at these in a minute but next we just want to create a an opening window now you can either okay we're going to open it do a swinging window it's basically the same as the door but just making it look like a window instead so uh, I think we'll just create a frame for it How big did we make the door? Okay, we're going to make the window same size as the door, I think. I don't want it. Oh, no, it's the same size. We're going to make the window square, I think. So. Bear me with me a sec while I get all this made up for you. Again I'm not going to spend too much detail on these it's just so you can get the idea of what I'm doing. Okay so to entity again you want to do funk underscore door underscore rotating again we're going to call this one window flags Toggle, use opens, draw silent. Uh, that's really all you need to change. Okay, that. Okay, and again, we need to get our no draw, so just search for the no draw texture again. I'm just going to create it, some glass inside here. Hit enter, face edit tool, search your glass. Doesn't really matter what glass texture you actually use. Want to make that a funk underscore breakable. Uh, change its uh, prop data to again glass small. Strength, you can put that up. Uh, we'll make that 50. Doesn't really matter what you put it that you can just mess around with those settings to find the best one. Oops, and uh, I actually need to do the parent again and parent that to the window. I need to select them both, put it in here again, cut out a hole for it. So you select that and just cut around the window. If you're making two of these windows, then you'd have to name the windows different and parent the glass different, otherwise it won't work properly. Thank you for watching, I hope this helped. Please rate, comment, subscribe and look out for future tutorials.